Hello, my name is Joe Hornsey. On December the 16th, 1994, my life changed. In fact, it was turned upside down. The days ahead looked dark and scary. That was the day that the company I'd been with for six and a half years failed to mail out a commission check. Now this was not just another commission check. Our income had been approaching the six figures that year. And that was an income that we had really relied on to fulfill our goal to get debt free. It caught me completely off guard, totally by surprise, and with no cash reserve. We would not receive that check until February. And by then, we canceled Christmas, we lost our home, and my wife had to take two full-time, 40-hour jobs just to keep the groceries on the table. While Sandra was working, I was attempting to help the company solve its problems and save the company, and frankly, save our career. It was during this time that I began to reevaluate where I was in my life, and to be honest with you, at the age of 55, that future looked scary. During this time of uncertainty and reevaluation, I called several well-known authors who had written books about home-based businesses. And one of those consultants told me about a company in Utah that in his opinion was a sleeping giant and was on the verge of a global expansion. This company was in the alternative healthcare business and they manufactured all their own products. They were also a debt-free company about eight years old and was approaching around 85 million in sales. The purpose of this cassette tape is to share with you my story and why I chose this unique company and why you might want to join our team. And what better way to share the facts about this sleeping giant than to introduce you to the man who, with the help of his wife, Dee, co-founded New Ways Incorporated, Mr. Tom Mauer. Thanks for being with me today, Tom. Joe, I'm glad to be here, and I hope a lot of the people listening uh, really appreciate uh, what you went through, because through your trials and what you found, they can use it to model their own lives. And New Ways is really offering an opportunity for people to get financial freedom and to obtain the things that they're really looking for in life. Tom, you know, as I reflect back on February the 22nd of 1995 when Sandra and I flew out there to see you, and, you know, I recall that visit and coming to the home office, and I know I asked you some real hard questions. And, of course, Sandra's kind of gotten on to me about it because she said I really interrogated you. But, you know, I had to find out the truth about new ways. Well, I appreciate the questions that you asked me because... People that uh, well, often I see them jump into different network marketing companies and they come in and they don't even look at the company with any kind of reason. Your toughest prospects are often your very best customers. And while you're a distributor for the company, in a way you're still a customer for the company. And by coming in and asking those questions, if we could convince you and show you, we knew that your motivation would go out and it would bring many other people in. And that's exactly what's happened. Well, I'll tell you, uh, we got a lot out of it, and of course, uh, as we've shared many times with you, that uh, when we got on that airplane, we knew that we had stumbled into something here that was truly unique. Uh, Tom, why did you start New Ways? You know, that's always been a real important question for people. So why, what's the motive for someone starting up a networking company? And I know the story of New Ways, and it is uh, certainly unique. Uh, so uh, why did you start the company up? Well, it's it's a very odd situation because I was never in network marketing, never joined a company, never become a distributor or hold a distributorship. And I felt uh, quite negatively towards uh, network marketing companies because of many unscrupulous individuals that are in this industry. But on the other hand, uh, there's a very bright side to it of uh, optimism and freedom and, and the ability to really take control of your life. But I didn't realize all of that. But the irony of it was that I had developed a product that was extraordinary. And this product would create a tremendous biological change. Uh, and it was used for regenerating hair growth to where people had lost hair due to male pattern baldness. Now, at that time, we could sell the product and make claims. And we still can in many other countries. But uh, the United States has become so regulatory that we found we uh, could not market that product and make those kinds of claims. So we had to change the approach that we did in promoting the product. But in the process, I thought, is this really a flute, or are there other ingredients in the marketplace that can do similar things for people, such as for wrinkles, 
or for weight loss or for cellulite or for skin coloration? Are there other discoveries that have been made similar to this that are not being marketed because of the regulatory agencies that exist in America and in many other countries? So I started to research the science and I found some very powerful discoveries in areas of wrinkles and skin care and hair care and personal care and I thought there's no way to market these things effectively in competition in the marketplace because there are massive companies such as cosmetic companies that are on the supermarket shelves in the department stores that advertise in these magazines and spend hundreds of thousands of dollars in a single magazine uh, issue to promote their products and what they're promoting is name recognition. And yet as I looked at the chemistry of them, and this is what shocked me the most, is they didn't have active ingredients. Hmm. And yet they charged a huge price. So I thought the best way to market this is going right back to the basics, and that's word of mouth marketing. Hmm. And because of a little bit of experience I had at first as I brought this product out and started to sell it through a network marketing company, my eyes were suddenly opened and I realized, you know, this is the way, this is the way to get it done this is the way to market these products. So from the market standpoint of selling products, I entered into the network marketing arena with absolute zero experience. And with that, I thought, if I can build extraordinary products that really work and people can see the results and tell other people, this company should grow. And so based upon that, I jumped in. I didn't put my toe in. I jumped in. I had an industrial chemical company and had formulated over 400 different formulations for industry. I set that aside and sold it to another company and entered into this market because I so strongly believed in the biochemistry that was available and what could be done with it. That's really why I started New Ways and our network marketing program. Well, I'm really glad you did because I tell you, um, I made a decision several years ago that it was definitely the way that I wanted to spend the remainder of my career. And, and I'll tell you the thing that I really like about network marketing is that, you know, it's a home-based business. You know, I read the other day that a new home-based business starts up every 11 seconds. Tom, that means today 8,000 people decided to begin doing business out of their home. Well, that's a lot of people, but, you know, there's really good reason for that because you know, about 1,500 jobs every day are eliminated. And you look at some of these Fortune 500 companies, and they let go of millions and millions of workers. I mean, you see some of the big names in it now have a layoff of 50,000 or more employees. People who had worked for those companies for 20 years, they suddenly find out they really don't have job security. And so they're looking, how can I have some security? And what they're finding is the security is in themselves, and that's working out of a home-based business. Yeah, and I'll tell you something else. They're telling us now that you can actually double the salary if you're working out of your home. You can actually double the salary of the average uh, U.S. worker. That yeah. kind of gets my attention. That's true, because, you know, the average worker in America is making about $26,000 uh, a year, but the person that works out of their home-based business, makes uh, the average one makes over 50000 and yet 20% uh, of all home-based uh, businesses earn over $75,000 a year. Wow. Tom, when Sandra and I started with New Ways on March the 1st, now let's keep this in mind, now we're talking about March the 1st of 1995, and we were broke, we'd lost our home. In fact, we had to go borrow the money to get started. So we actually started at a minus figure, a minus zero. Yet, Tom, after 12 months, I added up all of our, the 12 checks that we had received from New Ways, and it was over $100,000 that we had been able to do starting at a minus zero in a 12-month period. You know, that might seem like it's incredible to a lot of people, but you didn't bring over any of your organization from the other company. No, we couldn't do that because I sold that business to my best friend, and so therefore it wouldn't have been right for me to go in there and you know take his people. So we had to start ground zero. Well, I commend you on your integrity for that, because business without integrity really doesn't have any value. And I think that's how you built your business, is with integrity. But the thing that, uh, that I think that's really important with this is 100000 in your first 12 months, and those are the toughest 12 months, uh, it's because your system works, Joe. Well, thank you. As you know, Tom, I've been the president of five corporations, and I've run for the Congress here in Texas, and 
my experience has always taught me that there were six ingredients that you need to be successful in any business. One of the ingredients is you've got to have good products. And if you've got a good product, you've got to have a good company behind it. You have to have market potential, someone that wants to buy those products. You have to have a momentum, and the timing has to be right. And then, of course, the last ingredient is you've got to have cash flow or a marketing plan, some way to pay. And I'd like to discuss those ingredients with you, and, and let's just see how New Ways measures up for the person who's listening on this tape as he evaluates our company. And, of course, the first and the very, very most critical ingredient, in I, my opinion, is always the products. I know that you based your beginning on the idea that you wanted to produce products that were free of carcinogens. Those are the potential cancer-causing ingredients um, that we find in so many products. So let's talk about the carcinogen-free products for a while. Well, that might sound ridiculous to somebody listening to this, that you'd want to produce products that were carcinogen-free, and you'd say, well, aren't they, or wouldn't everyone? Yeah. Uh, that was the biggest thing that amazed me when I started looking at cosmetic products, because remember, I was an industrial chemical manufacturer for about 15 years, and I knew what products were toxic, harmful, carcinogenic, and as I started looking at cosmetics in the industry, I found out they were using ingredients that were potentially harmful that could contain large amounts of carcinogens. So I went into it and found out the industry themselves were aware that these ingredients contained large amounts of carcinogens. And I even saw where the Food and Drug Administration had warned the shampoo uh, industry that uh, there were tremendous amounts of dioxins, dangerously high levels, they said, uh, even in baby shampoos. Now, dioxins is what's in Agent Orange that all these Vietnam vets have been saying they've been getting cancer over. It's one of the most deadly carcinogens. And yet, it can be in your toothpaste because of the ingredients that are used in most toothpaste, in hair shampoos, in bubble baths, in bath and shower gels. I was just absolutely appalled. And yet, because the cosmetic industry isn't regulated, they don't remove them. And so I thought, if I do nothing but bring products out that do not contain these carcinogenic ingredients in it, I will have the best product line in the industry, even if they don't work. Because I knew one thing after investigating cosmetics, I could not find a single product that worked except to cover up. And in the cover-up process, I felt like you could create a tremendous amount of biological harm by suffocating the skin, replacing natural ingredients with potentially harmful ones, and loading it up with carcinogens. So I thought, if I do nothing but have safe, carcinogenic-free products, I'll have the best line in the world. When I heard this... I didn't believe it. I said, my gosh, you know, it's in the store. It must be okay. And so I went in there and pulled, went to the bathroom and just started pulling And I had a shampoo, and I've been using it for 20 years. And I looked in it, and my goodness, I couldn't believe the ingredients. It made a believer out of me. And I'll tell you, it's gratifying to pick up that telephone and hear someone call and tell you what these products have done. And they feel safe. That's the key word. Well, Tom, you've been able to obtain the exclusive rights to some of the most powerful Chinese herbal products around. How in the world did you do that? As I started in this industry, I didn't really know a lot about dietary nutrition. I'd been involved in industrial chemistry all my life. And so as I looked at skin care and hair care products, I thought, you know, I can build a great business here. And so I started researching for the biochemistry that really worked and to make formulations that were powerful and effective and I started doing that and making a variety of different formulations as I discovered one discovery after another. And you might ask uh, why companies really don't use these ingredients that are effective. Number one, in my, this is in my opinion, the ingredients cost a great deal of money. Number two, they're not available in the marketplace. Most of these ingredients that I have found are uh, found during uh, scientific clinical research and they can be a side effect from something. So I have a criteria that number one, first it must be safe, Number two, it must be effective. And number three, it must be economically feasible to use it in the product in the proper concentration that will give you results. But I resisted going into dietary supplements because the most unhealthy people that I knew in life were the health food nuts. And I thought the whole industry was just riddled with quackery, and I still do. And I'm a, a kind of a scientist that I came out of industrial chemical background or if I made a weed killer, boy, it better kill weeds. And if I had a disinfectant, it had to kill uh, the microbials, or else I wasn't in business. So this idea of making cosmetics 
and wrinkle products that did not remove wrinkles was just absolutely ludicrous. And then using harmful ingredients was one of the most ridiculous things I ever saw in my life. So uh, as I looked into dietaries a little bit and people started coming to me and they said, well, let's try this and this. And I said, I don't believe it. But uh, I sent off for some processing equipment. And this Korean company came in uh, to sell me some processing equipment for my plant. And this Korean was very taken with uh, some of the uh, ingredients and formulations that I had. And he said, I've just came back from China. Now, this was almost 10 years ago. And he said, I'm over there selling equipment to a large pharmaceutical and traditional uh, Chinese uh, medicine manufacturing company. And they have unearthed some formulations, uh, I mean unearthed, from a Ming Dynasty emperor's tomb. Right in the emperor's sarcophagus were these ancient formulations that literally went back to 2880 B.C. And this uh, pharmaceutical company in China was researching them to see if there was biological activity in these products. And he said they are proving it in clinical studies that these formulas work. And yet they were built off safe natural ingredients. And I thought to myself, you know, if there is one society on earth that would have been able to evaluate and develop formulations from natural compounds that were safe and effective, it would be the Chinese because they have a continuous uninterrupted history. And so it said it made you sleep less and awake more refreshed and stress went down, particularly in women. And it said any animal form that they had used it on in the study had lived longer. And I thought, geez, I don't know if I can market all that, especially the regulatory situation. But you know what? I'd like to sleep less. I'd like to awake more refreshed. And I'd like to have more stamina. And I'd like to see my wife with less stress. And so I thought, you know, if I want those things, so would a lot of other people. So based upon that, I thought, it's worth a gamble because my knee-jerk response was, I like that. So I got it and tried it, and within about two weeks, I was sleeping normally. I'm a nine to 10 hour night person. That's what I normally require. I started sleeping five and six hours, waking up refreshed, ready to go to work. I was so astounded, astounded that the product worked more than even what it was doing. So I tested it on some other people and had the same results, and so I'm I literally hired somebody that, who was Chinese, living here in America, sent them to China. They negotiated with the government. They set up things, and I flew into China. And at that time, China's very hungry for foreign capital. I went in, negotiated with the government, got exclusive rights to these formulations. And in China, you don't make a contract that lasts for years. You make it a, an eternal contract. It can be passed down from generation to generation. So I went in, made the agreement with it, started to import the products, and as the product started to work, it just got larger and larger. And then I started looking at an, one formula, and then another, and then another. And I started looking at uh, the science and biochemistry of nutritional supplements. And I found out that there are products that work, products that don't work well, and a lot of flim-flam and a lot of scam and quackery. And so these Chinese products put me on another path, just like it did with the skin care, and I started to look for the real science, the truth in nutritional supplements. Well, I tell you, I've always felt like that, uh, that the Chinese herbal products was the one thing that pole vaulted uh, new ways into a new industry. Uh, there is no question in my mind, Tom, that right now, new ways is the leader in the alternative healthcare industry. In fact, I tell everybody that I come in contact with, this company literally takes a product, and we don't just come out with a product, we take a quantum leap right in front of everybody and just completely walk away from them. And in the last few months, you have introduced some products that are just out of this world. And no way we've got time to discuss all of these products, but would you just address the ones that's kind of hot on your mind right now and the ones you really are the most excited about as for what it's going to do for the people? I'd be happy to. The, but before I do, Joe, the one thing that amazed me more than anything as I got into the science of nutrition is to find out what other companies are doing or not doing. It was absolutely amazing. The scientific research is there, and companies are not using it. Or if they're using it, they're using it inadequately. I was watching CNN, and they went through a major chain of uh, stores, and they um, reviewed Siberian ginseng. Now, a lot of people are starting to learn about ginseng and, and Siberian ginseng, and they went through and took bottles off the shelf, and they found 
percent of all the bottles on the shelf that said it was the Siberian ginseng supplement had absolutely none in it. None. Oh my gosh. And then the rest of them had such small amounts, almost without exception, that there wouldn't be enough to have any therapeutic value. Now, the same thing happened again very shortly with melatonin. And a lot of people know about melatonin. They're thinking it's the anti-aging hormone. Even with melatonin, they found out the amounts claimed on the label wasn't in the product. Some of them had minuscule amounts. Almost none of them had enough to be of therapeutic value. So I looked at these, and I saw the same thing. And it's not just these products. It's many, many others, in my opinion. So I started looking into the science because I was already deeply involved in science and these other products to say, okay, the Chinese have got ancient science, but we also have modern science. How about if we bring the old and the new together? And now I believed in the philosophy that the Chinese have. And the Chinese have the philosophy, the body has the ability to regenerate, to prevent, and to even create a biological change and to retard processes from happening aging processes or deterioration processes if you can provide the body with the nutrients that it needs and remove the toxins and the waste. And likewise with that, there's a second saying they have, and they say it's a poor doctor that practices cure. You see, in China, you pay a doctor traditionally to keep you healthy, and when you become ill, you stop paying the doctor because they're not doing their job properly. Now, ask an American doctor if they'll work on that basis. But I, I want to coin it a little different term than what you use. You talked about alternative medicine. I think these products, if they're done properly, it can be complementary medicine. Good point. I, I think it is because, you know, if, if I break a leg, there's no pill I'm going to take. I'm going to go in the doctor and get that thing set. And if I have an infectious disease, I'm going to go in and get something done about it from whatever the doctor has. But I'm still going to use complementary dietary supplements to fortify my own biological systems because they're there. And I'm going to use ingredients and formulations that will keep me in good health, that will help me to recover, that may prevent some of these conditions from ever occurring. So based upon that, I went out and I started looking into things specifically. And there's so much done that's not being used because prescription drug companies are doing an immense amount of research. But if they find an ingredient that works, and they can't patent it, and you cannot patent a natural ingredient. If it's not patentable, they will drop it because it costs about a quarter of a billion to half a billion dollars to get a product approved as a prescription drug, and it takes about no, 10 to 15 years. And so if you can't patent it, you'd spend all this money, have to bring out a very high-priced product, and you'd see it being sold out of a health food store for a fraction of that price. But yet they do the research, they make the discoveries, and then if they can't find a way to make a variation that's patentable, they drop it. What I've been doing is just following that research, picking up what's being done. Or there are other organizations that are doing research into uh, traditional medicines or supplements to find out what the active ingredients is, how they work. And I've been picking that up, bringing out formulations, using the proper amounts so that you do get the effect from them, and in doing so, I've looked at some issues, and I'll just talk about a couple of products real quick. First, we age because of a lot of reasons, but one of them is environment. We really age or deteriorate because of our environment and our genetics. So if all our biological systems are there when we're 60, that were there when we were 20, what's the difference? Environmental damage, genetic deterioration, okay. But can't we force feed some of these systems with powerful nutrients so they can work at a higher, more optimum level? Or can't we put into the body some of the things that the body now does not produce in the levels that it did when we were younger? And if we can bring those back to those levels, that our health starts to improve? That's the Chinese philosophy. It's the Ayurvedic medicine out of India. Same philosophy, and it works. But because of modern science now, we can take new discoveries, we can take ancient discoveries, we can find the ingredients, we can make powerful extracts, blend them together to bring formulations that give a tremendous punch to our own natural body's biochemistry, and we do it without drugs. It's complementary medicine, if you will, or complementary dietary supplements. So as we look at it, let's talk about a couple of things that I bought products out for. First of all, uh, we have a lot of problems in our life because of free radical damage. Now, free radical is something that is really an oxidizer, just like rust oxidizes. We basically age to a large degree because we rust. Uh, we oxidize fats for energy. It leaves a free radical that breaks down.
down our DNA, our other tissues. That's what causes arthritis, uh, hardening of the arteries, a lot of heart disease, senility in the brain. Yeah, there's all 60 or so conditions that are caused from free radical attack. But free radicals can be neutralized by what we call antioxidants. And a lot of people are aware of things like vitamin E and vitamin C that are antioxidants. And they're decent antioxidants. But I say decent, but not enormously powerful. But there are enormously powerful antioxidants that exist in nature that are compatible with the human body that if we can supplement them, they put such power, such strength into our body that we get a tremendous response from them and suddenly our levels of antioxidants may be as high or higher than when we were younger. And guess what we see happen? Great things. And so I brought out a formulation called Revenol, which is a blend of the most powerful antioxidants on Earth that I can find. And they're beyond what you'll find in a store or anywhere else, because these are right out of the biochemistry of the future. But they're here today in new ways. And if I can jump ship for a minute, let's just talk about, you know, our body functions on certain things. You have to drink so much water every day, don't you? You die if you don't have enough water because it's part of our biological functions. You have to have so much protein, so much fat, so much carbohydrates if we're going to keep ourselves healthy. The one thing that's really happened, because we farmed the soils for so long, they are now depleted of the minerals. While a plant may grow, if the minerals that are in it are taken away and that food is eaten, they are not replaced. You can put fertilizer on soil, you can grow corn or tomatoes, but they'll have less minerals with every crop that has been grown. Many soils have been growing crops, three, four crops a year, and for 100, 150 years. There's a report in 1938 that said, or 36 I believe it was, that said the soils of the United States are basically mineral depleted. Well, our body runs on minerals. Our whole electrical system through our body, our nervous system, carries all of these impulses to every part of our body because of the minerals that are there. But if we are mineral deficient in our food, then our biological responses go down because every organ, every system, every tissue must have the right amounts of these minerals, and many of them are essential minerals, trace minerals. It's not calcium. Calcium's only a part of it. And so I've gone out, and we're a little fortunate here in Utah, we have some enormous deposits from prehistoric times of minerals from giant forests that grew and collapsed and decayed and rotted and, and did it for millions of years and have left huge deposits of humic shell, which is just loaded with minerals and trace minerals. And we've gone into those and extracted them, broken them down into very fine particles down in, they're in a natural colloidal state, and they can be absorbed right into the body quite quickly and you can replenish the minerals that your body needs. And so we brought out a mineral solutions that supplements your body with all of this broad array of minerals that you may be needing to make your body function better. We have uh, some things as we age, levels of hormones go down, uh, particularly some of the very vital ones. And yet those hormones can be found occurring in nature. There's uh, some plants, one plant, a very particular type of hormone, that uh, progesterone can be found in about 5,000 different plants. The beautiful thing about it, they're now finding that women are deficient in progesterone, and that's the cause of osteoporosis. Many of the researchers are stating it's not uh, really the lack of estrogen, it's the lack of progesterone. But now we've been able to take concentrated progesterone, extract it from plants, put it in a cream, and you can rub it on the skin, you just get marvelous results as it absorbs into the skin. Likewise, we've found some of the very hormonal supplements that you can take that are natural hormones occurring in nature to fortify the ones that are in your body. And so we have brought out some of these natural supplements that feed your body to keep it operating hormonally, we believe, at a better uh, level than it ever did before. You've reached the end of Side A. Please fast forward the tape to queue up to side B. Remember the Chinese philosophy? The body has the ability to regenerate itself and maintain itself if you provide the proper nutrients and remove the toxins and the waste. We've just brought out a new product called Purge, and it's designed just to purge.
purge many of the parasites that build up within the body. And we believe by feeding the proper types of natural compounds to the body that it creates a condition that the parasites cannot live within the host body, and so the body starts to purge them from the system. Parasites can do a great deal of damage. We don't realize what how draining they can be on our body. In fact, there's even a scientist who has written a book called A Cure for All Cancers that's saying that parasites uh, cause the cancer. I don't. I honestly don't believe that they cause all cancers. There's a possibility they could cause uh, many of them, but getting rid of them from the body, whether they do or they don't, they can cause and do cause a great deal of damage to our biology. So now we're bringing out products to actually cleanse the, the body. We have colon cleanses that are just absolutely amazing in a dietary supplement as well as the parasitic purge. So we're working with all the different biochemistries in science to build the body up, to remove the things that are causing problems, to supplement what we're deficient in, to make a dose with natural ingredients that can feed our biological systems so they may be able to function at the optimum rate they're supposed to. But when you talk about the products, I mean, all we're doing is just touching the tip of the iceberg. If you saw this science, it would absolutely floor you. The problem is companies don't use this science, or if they do, they just touch on it. And it's they use such small amounts. I tell people it's almost like waving a chicken over a pot of boiling water and saying you've made chicken soup. Well, I tell you, <clears throat> that's what I really like about New Way. It's just... It's a product-driven company. We, you know, anybody that hangs around very long finds out that's what we're really all about. You know, you can have the best buildings there is. You can have the most modern uh, manufacturing plant and equipment. And you can even have the prettiest bottles, and the packaging can be great. But I'll tell you, if you don't have products that work, uh, you're not going to have anything. Well, Tom, I want to talk a little bit about the second ingredient we got to have. Um, it's this company we call New Ways. The thing I've always liked about you and your company is a fact of this debt-free philosophy. Well, it's really a personal philosophy, although I think a lot of people believe in it, and a lot of people would like to believe in it. But I've always believed that debt was slavery. It inhibited what you could do. It drained your resources. You pay enormous amounts of interest. So I thought, I'm going to get to a position where I'm debt-free, where I don't have to make payments. And so I worked very hard towards that, and I was working in conventional business. But I developed a home-based business and did some other things. It wasn't network marketing, but I made substantially higher income. And in 1974, I went debt-free. I didn't owe anything. Now, with these great products that we brought out, I thought, my goodness, we need to get these products out to the people. So it has got to be, while this is a product-driven company, we've got to design a system so that people can make some money. And I mean, how could you not want to make money on products that are this dynamic in a world that is so devoid of products or have products that are such poor cosmetic substitutes uh, for them. So uh, I worked on a program, and with my company, I brought the same philosophy in it. And I started it out in network marketing, and I didn't know hardly anything about it. But I thought, one thing, I will keep the same rule in this company that I've always had in life, and that is the company will remain debt-free. And if we have to work harder, and wait longer, we will do it so that we can maintain that debt-free status. And so over the period of time that New Ways has grown, we have grown only as we could afford to. But I'll tell you one thing that it's done, Joe. It has built a very strong, solid company, and now we can handle the growth that normally just ruptures other companies if they ever do go into momentum. I know it, I'll tell you. Uh, for someone in here, I'm in my 50s. I've just experienced a company that did not do that, and as a result, after six and a half years, I lost my all that time, my career, uh, everything. And I tell you, it is a, you don't know how comforting it is for me just to know that I don't have to worry about that any longer. Now, there's another thing that I think is real important about this company, and that's the fact that, doggone it, we manufacture all of our own products. We're very independent. We have uh, large vats. We literally make uh, all of our skin care, hair care products, uh, liquid dietary supplements. We've created every formulation that we have, but in the process of doing that, uh, we do it for two reasons. Number one is the quality control that we can have in this. Right. We take out the middlemen, and the thing that uh, surprised me with, you look at these network marketing companies, almost none of them make the products that they sell. And yet they come out and say, oh, this is the finest formula, new 
science, you know, it's state of the art, da 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 da. But there are hundreds of other companies that are selling the same uh, formulations with just a different label on it. And one of the very largest has never made a product that they have ever sold. And I won't mention any names, but it just is astonishing. And many of the other large companies have, have come to me and asked me to private label products for them. I said, number one, you can't afford to buy the products that I would make for you. And number two, I won't do it because our line is exclusive and the rest of the world is ineffective products that are oversold and they underdeliver. I won't make products like that. And you can't afford to buy in products with good ingredients from a middleman. And so they go buy ineffective products that don't cost much to make from a middleman and they make outrageous claims for the most part that can't be justified. So for that reason, because of the quality and also the fact that we can pass on, because there is no middlemen with new ways, because we're making our, our products, we can pass on much higher levels of actual commission to our distributors than other companies can. Well, I appreciate you taking that position, I'll tell you, for us. And in, in all the distributor organization, that's a great position, know that you hold that. Well, let's see now. We've got some quality products we've been talking about. Now I think we've now established we've got a good, strong company. The next ingredient I guess we've got to have is market potential. And I'll tell you, right now, it looks to me like Tom is unlimited. When you consider, you know, the population in America, in North America, and the rest of the world, we have uh, a long ways to go from where we're at. We're doing 100 million right now a year. But, you know, if we grow at the same rate that we're growing right now in the existing countries that we're in, and we have no reason to believe that we're not going to, we should end up doing $284 million My next goodness. year. That's from $100 million. But in addition to that, it's just because we're in a lot of countries. But in America, we are growing very, very fast. At, well, in North America, literally, because we're in Canada and we're in Mexico. We also have a very big operation in Australia, and we have a major manufacturing plant in Salem, Utah, but also in New Zealand. And we're growing uh, tremendously fast in Malaysia and Hong Kong. We have a good operation going now in the UK that's just getting up and going. We have a massive organization in Russia, almost 300,000 distributors in Russia. We're into the Ukraine. Now we're scheduled to open a whole bunch more, uh, and so that isn't even into our projection. And there'll be some in South America, some in Africa, in Europe, uh, more in Asia, and we literally have people beating the doors down, and I mean beating the doors down. We have five and six proposals, I believe, every day from someone trying to get us to open a country because we're having such phenomenal growth. But we're controlling our growth so that we can grow and take care of the distributors we want. But when you want to talk about potential, boy, we have potential like I think no other company on earth ever has. I think even big companies that have grown, you know, Apple Computer was a phenomenon, but I believe we have a potential greater than they ever had. Well, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, what I like about you, Tommy, is you're a visionary, and you always have a way of looking down the road, and you'll say, I'm going to do that. And you usually always do it, and that's that's what I like. I remember one time you told me that what you visualized and what you dreamed for was to have a global business that all of us could have one check, and it would cover every country in the world. We are breaking new frontiers, just like we have with our marketing plan, which is so extraordinary, and our products. We're doing the same thing in computerization. I don't see any reason with the advances that have been made in computer science where we can't have a seamless global marketing plan. You qualify once, you're paid all over the world. No matter where your downline goes, you can get it on one printout. We'll have a fully integrated global worldwide networking system that is seamless. You can go to bed at night. As you go to bed somewhere around the world, you'll have a whole workforce that'll get up and go to work for you. Wake up, going to work for you. Can that be something? It's going to happen. Obviously, that's what we call potential. <laughs> well, I tell you, and of course, along with that comes the momentum. And if I was listening to this tape, I would definitely want to be with a company who's on the way up instead of going its way down. And I'd say that New Ways is obviously on its way up. And, and Mal, I tell you, I'm so excited about the momentum of this company and, and what's going on. Obviously, if we have momentum, the timing must be out of this world. So, Tom, I believe that New Ways is in that early stages of critical mass that we talked about, and and if so, I'll tell you, the income opportunities with New Ways is going to be incredible. 
Well, I think you're right. Timing is everything in this industry. I've certainly learned that. But with timing, you've got to have the proper support because, you know, you've been around it long enough. I remember when I first started out in this business, I think it was 1987, there was a company called United Sciences of America, and they were on the front page of one of the major magazines like Newsweek. And a guy was standing, the director of a stand there with his arms folded, and it said, the MLM that cannot fail. Well, it failed in about a year because it couldn't handle the growth. It had phenomenal growth, but it didn't have the support to do it. Mm-hmm. Timing wasn't right. Now, if you look at the industry, uh, and someone just told me the other day, and I believe it to be true, that there was there's 29 companies that are over 10 years old. Only 29 in this industry. Well, we're right there at 10 years old. We are one of them. I'll tell you what's really got me excited is the fact that we've got a debt-free, $100 million company that is just now going into critical mass. I mean, that's never happened before. New ways is plowing new ground, Tom. Huh? It hasn't happened before, but I think it's because of my conservative background. Just like I wouldn't bring out products that didn't work, and I was horrified at the products being sold that didn't. It's the same thing as I looked at this business. I thought, we can't handle it, and I don't know network marketing. And I had all of these high rollers coming on to me from these companies that had exploded and collapsed, and they all had their own quirky philosophies on how they were going to make this company grow because of our dynamic products. But I could see there were big flaws, and one person would come and say, let's do it this way, and another person would come and say, no, their way won't work, and they'd explain why it wouldn't work, and they were correct. And they'd say, well, this way is the one that works. And I said, well, that sounds pretty reasonable. Then another MLM expert would come in and say, well, theirs won't work, but this one will work. And they were correct, and it went round and round in a circle. I said, I can't handle this. I want to do it the right way. I am not in this. I'm not an MLM scammer. I am in this for network marketing principles of building a lifetime business. This is going to be a family business for me and my family that is going to go on for generation after generation. And I'm going to develop a distributor network that I want to treat like family, and I can only do that by building it solid. And so I avoided these people. I went overseas, and I thought, I'll learn how to do it. I'll learn how to do it right. I don't care what the competition has done or hasn't done. It can be done right. And so with that, I expanded in foreign countries, learned the basic principles, built the company debt-free and solid, and then came back. And that's where New Ways is now. Now we're a big player in this industry, and we are starting to explode, but we have done it right. Right literature, right products, right marketing plan, right timing, and now let's explode because we can handle that explosion. And, of course, with that is probably, uh, without a question, the most revolutionary marketing plan that's ever been put together. That thing right there is done more for my organization than any one item. And why don't you just kind of briefly tell our listener about what this plan is all about? Well, Joe, I tried to bring out a marketing plan, and, and I told my wife, who's a literally a full partner with me in this business, and we've built this from scratch. I told her, I said, if we are fair and generous in our marketing plan and have these kinds of products, we will learn how to do network marketing, and good, honest people will find us, and we will uh, become a dynamic company. Now, that is the long way to build a business, but it's also, in my opinion, the solid way to build it. So we went ahead and we did it that way. As a result, we experimented with marketing plans, and we tried some different plans that were being used that people were telling us, this is the way that the real wealth has been generated in the the industry. And so I started to investigate, uh, and I tried one plan. I would try to modify it. I would make reasonable requirements. I'd try to put the dynamics in it that would be fair all the way. I maximized my payout. And over a period of time, we, uh, like many other companies that have been involved in this industry, have evolved our marketing plan. I got to a certain point where, with the type of plan that we were using, which was called a stair-step breakaway plan, we had a a very good plan. In fact, as I think as far as stair-step breakaways, it, it could not be equaled, but it had an Achilles heel. And I looked at it and I thought, why are we going through people that should we shouldn't be going through? They're not in the company long enough to understand what the products are. If they did, and my company was a product-driven company. If they were, they would never leave. They could not go to other brands. But many people are in this for the business opportunity. So I saw the importance of the synergy between the products and the marketing plan. 
So I started to investigate and look at other marketing plans, and I found that stair step breakaways were becoming dinosaurs because people aren't really big into heavy retailing, and that's what it takes it to do. And then all the scammers were using these stair step breakaways in big front end loads, or you have to put in some sort of uh, qualification period to get to a certain level where you have to do huge volumes. And there was a real unfairness in those, but I would not do it that way. And then I looked at uh, the matrixes that came along, and it's a lazy man's marketing plan. It breeds laziness, uh, at least in my opinion. And I could see where you had everyone waiting for the upline to build the downline, and so many companies came and, you know how that is, came and That's went. Right, yeah. And then so someone came on with this binary thing, where you have two legs and you're balancing them and getting paid on the weaker leg. And, and uh, they just ended up, in my opinion, being cash cows for the company. They had appeal. Uh, and the philosophies and things that there are catching people who are looking for building an organization without doing a lot. But it just doesn't work that way. If people think that network marketing works that way, they're out of touch with the reality of life. Network marketing can have dynamics, but it requires work and effort. And so these binaries, while they came along, you see the companies collapsing right and left and leaders going. Then the unilevels came along, and the unilevels, they get people that uh, they build a lot of people fast on their first line, but before long, these unit levels they were found they had more people out of their pay range than were in their pay range. That was the problem with unit levels. And yet, each one of them had very good features. And I had been assessing all these plans which one should I choose, which one should I use? And I came to the determination that I shouldn't use any of them. And yet, from within my heart, I said to my wife, I know I can design a marketing plan that is as close to a perfect marketing plan as possible. I know that even though it's never been done, we can do it. And we can do it because we have sincerity in what we're trying to do, because we had reached a point in our life where we really didn't need the financial income from network marketing. We could do whatever we wanted with the rest of our lives, but we love network marketing because we love helping people. So I said, D let's concentrate our lives on helping other people. And I'm going to sit down and I'm going to design a marketing plan that will make everyone successful that really wants to get in and do this business on whatever level they do. And it's got to be built on making the beginning distributor successful. We've got to have the philosophy that the most important distributor in this company is the new distributor. These people need to make money within the first 30, 60, 90 days. Then the intermediate distributor can come in and they can put in a certain amount of money and advance to the next position. And then the developing leader can, needs to make income. And, the, and if we do that, the big leaders will get taken care of if we spread it across the board. So I studied this thing, meditated on it for about three or four days, and I woke up one morning and I had it in my mind and it was right. And I came down, I wrote this thing just like you saw it. I wrote this thing out and I said, here is the future of network marketing. This plan is fair. I defy any expert to fault this plan, to prove it wrong, because I know they can't, and they can't. And that's what I had. I brought a bunch of people in. They looked at it, and they were just taken back. And once that happened, we brought it into the company. And it took about two months for people to get adjusted to it and to understand how it worked. And then our growth started. We were growing anyway, but I mean this critical mass started to form, and we started seeing huge numbers of distributors coming on from different localities. And this new marketing plan, this hybrid marketing plan, which actually takes the best of many plans and knits and sews them together into a network of pieces of different plans, the best of everything, laced with dynamics that maybe hasn't even been addressed before in network marketing was put together and we come out with the marketing plan of the future. And I honestly uh, don't believe that other companies were going to be able to compete against this unless they adapt and try and follow it. And if they don't make their products, they're not going to be able to have the margins that we pay out to support this plan because it takes a lot. Absolutely. And that is a key point, too, is the fact that since we do manufacture, we do have the margins so we can pay our people. And, of course, you said the both, best of both worlds, you know, what's the the two best worlds for me is the fact that I know on the 10th I'm going to get the quick cash check, and on the 25th I'm going to get the big residual check. So we get two checks a month, and they tie together, and I'm telling you, it has been an incredible thing for us. And you're talking about how the business jumped and critical mass started. 
I remember when it kicked in in my group. And I mean, the recruiting, the applications, and the stuff that went on, I mean, it jumped. It was just like a, it just came off the chart almost immediately. We saw that happen. The thing that um, was really gratifying, uh, there was an article written by uh, uh, Charles Huckabee, and he wrote uh, about uh, compensation plans, and he went through and uh, he made a statement that I thought was very uh, astute. And he said, if you're looking for a marketing plan, he gave nine suggestions uh, that a marketing plan should have. And the more of these points, that, of these nine points that a marketing plan has, the better the plan is. And I went through it, and we had every single point, all nine of these within our uh, marketing plan. And in fact, is on many of them, they were actually done better than what he had suggested them to be there. Yeah, and you know, what we do now, Tom, is we take that article and we put it in our info pack when we send it out to people. Because we want them to know right up front when they're looking that we meet all of the criteria that he was talking about. Well, listen, before we close, Tom, I think I want to kind of turn this little personal thing here and let me talk about the system that we put together. And, and I think, you know, it's helped us become one of the top organizations in new ways. And, and so I, if you don't mind, I'd like to talk about that just a little bit, and then uh, we'll bring this thing to a close. What we do, Tom, is we emphasize the 12 builders, you know, and who will come out and duplicate the system. And a lot of, a lot of different programs through multi-level marketing is for the years always emphasize a three or a five or, you know, some multiples. Our system is built based on our marketing plan of 12 builders. And so we take that and we network that idea. And if these 12 builders can duplicate themselves twice, the person listening to this tape right now can make 18000 a month. And we've got people doing that well ahead of the track record that Sandra and I set. And, you know, we can do this without home parties. We can do it without having to go next door and sell all our friends and our neighbors and the kinfolk. In fact, my neighbors don't even know what I do for a living. They wonder what's happening because all the stuff's going on, but they don't know what I do. They think it's mafia money. They, they probably do. Uh, and they got a noodle. You know, we got this new Lincoln. We get through the car bonus program and all of that. And they don't under, And they never do leave the house. And so they don't know what's going on. But, see, we do this simply by a real simple system that's only got five steps. The first thing you do is you mail out this tape. Then you're going to answer this telephone. You're going to conduct about a five-minute interview, and I'm going to tell you the questions to ask. Then you set up a, d a date with these people four days later so you can have a follow-up interview with them. You mail them an information pack to get to all the information they need so they can make an intelligent decision. And then the last step is on the day of the follow-up, you just sit back, dial up, get three-way on demand, sit back, listen, let me do the talking, and I'll tell you, it's just working like a champ. Well, your three-way demand system is really a neat idea, but I don't really understand completely how it works, but I know what's working. Well, i tell you what we did. I realized that I couldn't, as the group started growing so rapidly, I realized I couldn't be here all the time. So what I did was I took the three most prevalent messages and put it on tape, and it's available for every member of my organization 24 hours a day. And the three questions are as, how did New Ways become a leader in the alternative health care industry? And I think now I'm going to change that to the newer terminology that you gave us earlier. The complementary. The complementary health care industry. The second question is, why is the timing right to become a millionaire in New Ways? And that's what's going to happen in this critical mass. And then the third message is, what makes the marketing plan so unique that it only takes 12 builders to make you a millionaire? So all you do is you put your prospect on one line, you put them on hold, you dial up three-way on demand, punch the button, pick uh, message number one, two, or three, whatever one you want to listen to, and you just sit back and let me do the talking. And I'll tell you, it's really worked real well. Well, I don't know a lot about your uh, three-way on demand calls, but I do know one thing, Joe, it's working because you're just developing massive checks. They're going to get bigger and bigger. Well... Tom, I'd like for you to close this conversation with our guest uh, who's listening on this tape. Uh, but first, let me let me say this. I'm not sure where you are right now in your life, and, and but I'll tell you, on December the 16th of 1994, my life went upside down. Finding new ways and Tom and D. Meyer was a godsend to Sandra and I. I've attempted to explain to you why we chose new ways. When I think of new ways, I think of only two words, quality and integrity. I believe that New Ways is a literally a sleeping 
giant is ready to come alive. And if this feels good to you, please call the person who gave you this tape. We would love to have you on our team. And thanks, Tom, for sharing with us today. Well, I'm glad to be on it, Joe. The thing I'm most concerned with is the new distributor, the person that's never heard this. Because I have come to the conclusion in life is that if we always do what we've always done, we'll always be what we've always been. And unfortunately, this world is set up when we're working a job, we're working for somebody else's future. We're not working for our future. We're working for the bank or the shareholders uh, or the owners of this company. And the reason why is we're trading our time for our dollars. And if you want to truly create wealth, if you want to get financially free, if you want to be debt free, you've got to change your philosophy and you've got to start trading your time for time. Once you start doing that, you can be working with other people and you start getting paid a percent on their time. And time is money. And this is the way to, to generate wealth. And you can do it with a home-based business. We want you to, to buy, use, and sell the products and recruit other people that want to have products that really work for the first time in their life, that when they use them, they can see the difference. And they're going to want to share them with other people, or they're going to want to follow your system here, Joe, and pass out these tapes and do this uh, three-way demand phone call and make their business grow and have a residual income. So when they get to the point, if they can't work, they have a workforce going out there to where they can create wealth. This is the way to do it, and if you'll take the opportunity now and get involved and do this, because if you don't, what are you going to have? It really is the height of uh, literally lunacy to think that your life is ever going to change if you continue doing things the way you've always done them. If you want to change, you've got to change. We're not talking about a dramatic change. We're talking about doing something that's fun, it's exciting, it's dynamic. That's what we've got with New Ways. So take this, start to change your future, because for the first time, you can now take your future, you can put it in your hands, and you can create something that will give you the lifestyle that you've always wanted. New Ways has got it for you. We've done the work, we've got the products, we've got the marketing plan, we've got the huge debt-free structure, and the timing is perfect. And in this business, timing is everything. So I'd like to thank all of you that have listened to this tape, and I'd like to ask you to get a hold of the person that gave it to you and start to build the kind of future that you and your family deserve. It's time to do it. The timing is now. Thank you very much for listening, and God bless you in everything you do.